building up to the game with everything that was going off, um, I think it, uh, it it made it a huge, a massive game for the football club and, and in particular the the group of players that were going to go out there against Fulham. And I thought I was really pleased with the way they managed that, that game and, and, and kind of stayed in control, albeit it was 1-0, um, because they knew what a what a big, big day it was for the club. And and it turned out that we we got the win, we managed to get the win and also celebrate the fact that we were back in blue. There was no David Marshall. Is he uh, going to travel this weekend? Um, no, he's not. Um, which is slightly disappointing, obviously, because um, we thought we would have a chance um, this weekend, but um, he's not going to make it. How bad is the... It's an ankle, isn't it? Him, uh... Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's striking the ball, and um, look, he's a lot better. He's probably somewhere in the region of 70%, 80% better, but it seems to have stuck there a little bit, so it's still causing him a... Him a, him a problem, a serious problem, and obviously moving. It's not just kicking as well, is it? It's, it's, it's moving across the box and uh, as well, agility-wise. So um, he won't be travelling. But I suppose the performance at Samuel did nothing to deserve to be dropped last weekend, did he? Well, I mean, the, the great thing is Simon's come in and, and he's performed really well. And as I say, that that's the most pleasing thing, really. He's been ready. Uh, he's made himself ready to take that opportunity when it came around, respectful of the fact that D David's a very, very good goalkeeper and he's n number one. Simon made himself ready to go in, so, you know, he he's deserved that little opportunity as well that he's been you desperately more. waiting for. But you knew more from Brentford days, clearly, because he played regularly for Brentford, didn't he? Yeah, 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 well, I, I, tried, I tried to take him from here about um, a season and a half ago. Um, so, you, you know, he's he's a um, very good reputation from um, the league below. There's, there's no doubt about that. And um, he's doing no harm at all, is he, with his two performances that he's put in so far. Um, David Marshall, uh, he keeps being linked with other clubs, but you've made it clear that there's no way you, you would want David Marshall to go or you would want the club to accept anything for him. Well, I, I wanted to clear that up a little bit. So I've, I've, I have had a chat. Obviously, I'm not going into details with, with David, but also I've spoken to his, I've spoken to his agent as well, um, David Manassi, and um, it, it's, it's pure speculation. It's, it's no more than that, honestly. So the agent has assured you this. Yeah, no yeah, interest. yeah. He's assured me, at this stage, obviously, when I'd spoken to him, there was there was no interest at all, um, and he was very happy at Cardiff City. And, and David's never expressed any. No. Every time we've spoken to him, to be honest, he seems yeah. as settled as anyone. As settled as anybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, Gaffer, there's been no interest. It's, you know, I don't know where people are actually picking it up and, uh, and getting it from. Norwich, um, I suppose you know, because you've had it a few, few months ago, relatively recently, but a new manager, first home game. It'll be a big occasion for him, and they'll, his team will want to do well for him. Yeah, he didn't do badly in his first away game, did he? So, away at Bournemouth, so we know what a terrific result that is. Um, and of course, you know their form at home in their last two games is a little bit scary, five-one and six-one. <laughs> so we know it's going to be a, d a difficult game, but it's a challenge. You know, we want to embrace the a challenge that we're up for, and. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're eager to get on with, really. How close is this team to what you want it to be? Oh, no, 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 still a long way off. It's just a pretty, it's still a massive process, I feel, at the minute. You've, see, you, you've seen there's a lot of um, ins and outs, and there will still be more to come. So it's, it's, it's an interesting window, it's a busy window. Um, one I'm enjoying in a, in, in a sense because it's given me an opportunity um, to change things around to to, to the first step in, in, in putting my stamp on it and, and what I you know will want to see going forward. You've certainly been uh, the departure lounge has been pretty busy at, uh, at Cardiff City hasn't it uh, through January yes. which, which you predicted. Yes which I predicted which we all knew had to happen at some stage. We can't have players floating about that are not kicking a ball for the football club, that are on, you know, um, 
high wages. It's, it, it's not. It's, it makes no. It makes no sense at all. So, obviously, um, we're refining that situation. We're dealing with that situation.